Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I got a new uh, welding project today. Uh, we're gonna weld a two inch uh, receiver on my neighbor's car trailer. So here's what we got to work with. Look at this beauty. Pretty solid trailer. Got some decent ramps on there, heavy duty stuff. Has the old uh, mobile home style axle hubs, which aren't the best, but they work. But what we're gonna do today is try and get this receiver mounted somewhere in this area so he can, he's got a winch he wants to put on there to drag up some old cars, haul some old cars away. And just in general, if you have a car that breaks down, you can go pick it up yourself instead of paying a tow truck. So. We're gonna get some parts made. I got a, I got some big heavy duty flat bar here. Uh, I've got this little hook that I found in my container. I think I'm gonna weld this on here. Something like that. To have a place to pull the cable back to if you wanna double the cable up. If you pull the cable back and double it, you get uh, twice the pulling power. And we got some heavy duty plates here piece of two, two inch square tubing, quarter inch thick. So I think with all that, we'll probably raise this up about four inches and then run some straps down the side to this uh, beam here, which is just two C channels welded together. Yeah, so let me get some tools out and uh, get some parts made. Hopefully I'll be able to weld it today. It's not too windy, but we'll see how that goes. All right, I got some parts made. Uh, it's that two inch square tubing. I cut four inch pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and weld them to the bottom of the receiver tube. And this is just a, uh, these are about 15 bucks at Harbor Freight. So they're pretty good, uh, cheap alternative. Uh, I know they're a lot more expensive at like Northern or Tractor Supply, but these work fine. I've used these on my box blade and a few other things. So I'm gonna weld these on here. I got the edges beveled so I get a nice bite on there. And then after I get these welded on, centered up nice, I'm gonna place it on here and then get them welded down to the box. And this is the center where this uh, pin's gonna be. And that's 17 inches from the front of the, uh, here of the bed. And that'll keep his winch off the bed so he can get a full pull of a car or whatever so we'll get these welded on here <clears throat> and then after i do that i'm going to make some uh, gussets that run down the side here so let's get going got these two uh, little stubs on here turned out pretty good I got me a wind blocker up there those of you who uh, do stuff outside know what I'm talking about that ought to hold <clears throat> so I'm gonna before I weld that on I'm gonna get this thing clamped up here something like that 
We gotta make sure it don't interfere with the winch. Oops, there we go. Yeah, let me double let me double check on that winch situation. Alright, I got this eyelet. Uh, I ground it down a little bit more. The relief on the back side here. So it would go a little bit lower. So now I got it below where this uh, opening is. So that way the winch will slide in here without any issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that welded on. Then we'll slide this dude up into place somewhere, somewhere about there. We'll get it squared up and welded in. And then we'll make the uh, gussets to go down the backside here just to strengthen it up. Cause it's gonna have a lot of pull on it when they hook a winch up to it. So. See what we can do. Alright, that's tacked in there. So. Let me get me a little better bead over here. through a leather glove. see with a glare on it <sighs> sucker smoking burning off that paint turned out pretty good got a nice bite in there Let's see this side here yeah there you go that'll work all right let's get the main part done here all right I'll put a tape measure on it but uh, <clears throat> that looks pretty square right there Looks like it's leaning a little bit to the right, so I tip it up just a little bit. If I tack it on one side, it'll pull, so that'll help. All right, let's get a tape measure on it.
It's about as square as I can get it on this trailer, so I'm going to tack it back in place. Alright. Check it one more time. Got about a quarter inch gap, it looks like, on each side. I'm pretty good with that. Yeah, I like the way it's turning out. We'll get that uh, all four sides on those two welded off, and then I'm going to do some sort of gusset. I don't know where, but somewhere from the top here all the way down, and that'll really uh, tie it in. So no matter what they pull with it, should be good. Let's get some welding going here. felt the wind blow that one. Put a nice hole in there. Hate that. Hate that. Looking pretty good. One more here for the front. All right, real quick before my battery dies, I'll go change it real quick, but uh, I got these straps made. They look to be a little more than a quarter inch thick, maybe five sixteenths, uh, two inches wide. Okay, I'm back, battery did die. Um, two straps, 10 inches long, I'm gonna weld them on. So I gotta get some paint off of this, and uh, I think that's cleaned up pretty good there. So let me do a little grinding. Sorry for the delay. I think I'm going to put these at an angle. I like that better in the middle. In the middle of the tube here. Run them at an angle. They give me a little bit more surface area to weld on these. Yeah, I think I like that there. We'll do that. All this on there. Give her a tack. I like it. Let's weld it.
get it clamped on there so I can make the angle the same, make them look the same. Wind's whipping right now. I'm gonna give it a give it a minute to die down. Take a look at this thing. I know the shadows from the sun are terrible, but it looks like it's lined up pretty good there. Let me check it from the other side. Yeah, looks like I could bump it maybe a little bit that way. I think I'm going with that, I like it. Get it tacked. Time I get a bad weld like that, I try to grind out the porosity. Otherwise, it just won't ever weld good. You'll just have pits in there. So try to grind out as much as I can, and then I'll go back over it, make it look nice, keep it strong. All right, here's the finished product. Hard to see in the shade, but it's better than the sun glaring down on it. I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, there's the hook so he can slide his uh, winch it's got like a cradle that the winch sits in a couple of handles on each side uh, pretty popular pretty common and you just grab those slide it in there put a pin in it just like you would a receiver and hook it up hook it up to a battery or to your truck or however you got it wired so yeah it's just a standard harbor freight it's like a 15 inch maybe 15 inch long, didn't need to be that long, but it does give you more room to weld and of course you can make it stronger. So I'm pretty happy. If anybody cares, I'm using a Miller 211 and I'm running it on 220 volt. Go ahead and cut it off. And running it with gas. And that's why I'm having such an issue with the uh, wind out here try to use a blocker board that helps a lot shadows are terrible got it as square as I could considering the trailer's probably not the squarest it's it's been a little bit abused but it's still a pretty good trailer Get out of the sun for a second. But anyway, thanks again for watching Projects with Paul, and we'll see you next time.